Hi guys, I'm Jeanette, and today I'm gonna to teach you another tool and understanding about your brain and your mind with a tool called the River of Thoughts. And I opened up my table today, and as you can see, there's sand in here. This is a sand tray table. So I'm gonna show you with a story what the River of Thoughts are. Now, I don't know if you know this, but our minds have up to 35,000 thoughts in one day. That's crazy. And guess what? We can't control or make thoughts go away. You know why? Because if you try to make a thought go away, it's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. So we need to learn how to manage our thoughts, not make our thoughts go away and control and stop them. Because that's just gonna make it feel too big. Because if I was gonna ask you right now to not think about a white bear, go. Don't think about that white bear. What's happening? Right now, you're thinking about that white bear and you can't make it stop no matter what you do. So understanding that and accepting we can't make thoughts go away. We need to learn how to manage and separate from our thoughts I'm gonna show you how to do that with the river of thoughts. So I want you to imagine that you're in a river. And this is a very, very fast running river. And in this river is all the thoughts that you wanna push away, all of them. There's so many, sometimes it's too much. Sometimes we feel like we're gonna drown in them and it's too much and it's too much and we feel like we're going into a bottomless pit and we don't know what to do and we crash and burn, okay? So what we're going to do is be in that river of thoughts. We're in our river, in our river, in our river, which feels like a big black cloud. And then we're gonna see a beach off to the side. And there's gonna be a chair waiting for us. And I want you to go park your boat, go sit in your chair, take a deep breath, into your nose, fill up your belly balloon, hold it for three seconds, and release it with an ocean breath. <sighs> and I want you to look at all this gloom and doom in the ocean, in the river, and separate from it. And focus on calming your body. So take another breath, Except I can't make these thoughts go away, but all I can do is go into my body, sit down, breathe, see the river of thoughts like a movie in my mind, and watch that river pass me by. And in time, I will learn to acknowledge it, see it for what it is. I can't make it just go away. And I accept that that's just a thought and the biggest part of all of this, don't believe everything you think because the mind is highly suggestive, which means anything someone says to you, it's gonna, your mind is gonna soak it up like a sponge. And that is why when I asked you, don't think about a white bear, you couldn't stop thinking about a white bear. So that's how thoughts come in. So even if a thought comes in, doesn't mean it has to stay there. You can separate from it, go into your chair, take a rest, acknowledge it's a thought, it will pass, it won't stay there forever, and focus on my breathing. You can get some Play-Doh, put it in the Play-Doh. You can draw a picture, you can go outside and run around to help separate from all these thoughts and get into your body. With your paper and markers, I want you to draw a river. And I want you to write all those river of thoughts that you're having, worry thoughts, thoughts that keep coming in that are scary thoughts, overwhelming thoughts, fearful thoughts and write them, draw pictures of what it is you're worried and thinking and overthinking about and put
put it in your river of thoughts, put your river outside of you, step back and sit in your chair wherever you are and do that deep breathing. You can't control your mind. Your mind is going to keep sending you signals and messages from the universe, from the world around you, a poster, an image, a thought. You hear overhear something that's worrisome. It's going to go in there and all you can do is learn how to manage your mind and let those thoughts go by like the river of thoughts. And over time, they will pass. And know that this is a very, very important tool to understand because we can't control our minds. You may think you can, but you can't. All you can do is learn to manage the thoughts, acknowledge the thoughts, and know the thoughts will pass you by like a movie in your mind's eyes. So you can do this over and over and over as many times as you want to because it's so good to get this out of your mind, outside of you, and do this practice. And trust me, over time, these thoughts will pass. And the next intervention we're gonna do is creating positive affirmations that you can tell yourself so that you can transform these negative, intrusive, overwhelming thoughts into something new. So that's in the next video. Stay tuned and I'll see you soon.